peace, love, light, balance, kings and queens. I'm Cree, and you're now in my kitchen. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the season finale. That's right, this show is coming to an end for this season, so you know your girl will see you next year. But anyway, let's get started. What we're going to be making today, we're going to be making Cree's homestyle ramen noodles, and I'm doing two versions for you guys, okay? So let's get started. All right, I'm going to go ahead on and turn on my heat. All right. So you're going to need you some vegetable broth or vegetable stock, whichever you have on hand. It doesn't matter. You're going to need two cups, okay? All right. So this first one is going to be kind of like a creamy broth and you're going to need one fourth cup of your unsweetened vanilla almond milk, okay? Make sure it's unsweetened, you guys. One fourth cup, okay? It's so good. This is like the, the grown up version of your instant oodles of noodles. Alright, so we're going to let this heat up, and while that is heating up, let's go over more ingredients, okay? Um, we have our ramen, organic ramen noodles. Now, you can get these ramen noodles. I got them from Walmart, okay? So, they're not that expensive. They're at Walmart. They might be like under $8, okay? You're going to need some tahini, and tahini is basically um, your sesame seed paste, okay? So for the first creamy broth, we're going to be using tahini. We're also going to be using soy sauce as well as your rice vinegar, okay? All right. So I'm going to let this um, kind of heat up, come to a boil a little bit, and then we're going to drop our ramen noodles, and that's going to cook for about three to four minutes. So make sure that you read the box instructions because these specific, um, specific noodles you have to cook for three to four minutes okay all right I'm gonna go ahead on and drop my noodles in there so my packets away and I'm gonna wash my hands really fast really quick and fast let's keep an eye on it once it comes to like a little bubble you're gonna bring your heat down just a tad bit you're gonna loosen up the noodles a little bit Again, three to four minutes, okay, on the noodles. Okay, so while those noodles is going, let's go ahead on and add our other seasonings to the bottom of the plate or your bowl so that we can start to build flavor once the noodles is done and the broth has been finished warming up, okay? So you're gonna need a teaspoon of tahini, a tablespoon of tahini, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of tahini. This broth is so good, I'm telling you. 
real quick, quick, quick recipe. A tablespoon of soy sauce. And a teaspoon of your rice vinegar. I'm going to use this pan again for the next broth. All right, you guys, I'm going to sit this to the side and go to the next broth, okay? you're gonna get your instant miso cup packet um I got the savory with um, seaweed so I'm gonna call this my seaweed ramen style noodle again just follow the instructions on the back stock or you can use just water but you know I like flavor so I'm going to use vegetable broth warm that up As far as the broth, you guys, for this, uh, stock, 
style aroma. So you just put um, a half a pack of the miso in your pan. And it says use water, but it, you don't have to use water. You can use any type, any type of stock. I'm using vegetable stock because this is a vegetarian slash vegan dish, okay? So you're just going to let that warm up. And what I'm also going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and add um, a tablespoon of just soy sauce. And that is all for that, you know, for that broth. Just let this warm up so that I can drop these noodles in. Again, we're going to cook the noodles for about three or four minutes until softened. And then we're going to pour it in. And then I'm going to show you what I use for the toppings. Okay. All right. So it's coming to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and drop my noodles in. smells so good oh my gosh Ooh, goodness easy 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 peasy you guys if I can do it you guys most definitely can do it simple quick easy recipe I just want to say that I am so thankful and grateful for all my um, supporters out there that's been supporting me since day one of Cree's Kitchen. I started Cree's Kitchen January of um, this year, January the 18th of this year. And it's been almost a whole year now since I've been doing this and I'm so thankful and grateful for you guys and I'm so happy that you're here with me for the season finale and yes we're doing it up with ramen honey because you know a queen likes to say a coin and everybody know when you go out to these other you know little restaurants or whatever you won't spend a penny for some ramen honey okay But I'm showing you a quick, easy way that you can make it at home. Okay, you can get the creamy um, broth like I showed you with the first bowl. And this bowl is just a simple packet. Add you some vegetable broth. Throw in them noodles. Bada bing, bada boom. Real simple, simple. All right, these noodles is almost done. Go ahead on and turn that heat on. Get my strainer. This boss, I'm sorry, he brought getting another port. This smells so yummy. All right, so these are my toppings that I have. 
I have nori, which is just seaweed. Um, I have some scallion sliced. I have a jalapeno, a roasted jalapeno peppers for my fireballs out there. And basically, I just put some of my Creed's Kitchen all-purpose seasoning as well as Creed's Kitchen um, sea salt and black pepper or my um, jalapeno pepper with some olive oil slid it in the oven and let that roast. I also pan seared some um, bok choy over um, extra virgin olive oil and Creed's Kitchen um, salt and pepper mix. I have some bean sprout here and I also have some shredded um, carrots, okay? So for my soy my um for this one i'm going to go ahead and use my nori and garnish that with that and it's just going to melt down in there I'll push it down some add my three little pieces you can also you know dress it up with some um green onion but I ran out of green onion so I'm going to make it do what it do with what I have you feel me add a little some carrots up there okay and I'm just going to put a little green bean sprout on the side right here alrighty add my scallions on top So this is like my seaweed ramen, okay? And there you have it, you guys. This is the seaweed ramen. Mmm, want some? It's so good. All right, so let's get into this creamy, creamy ramen one. All right, so I'm gonna make this one kind of spicy because you know, girl, like spice. So for my fireballs, this one is for you. Go ahead on and add your bok choy on the side. Bok choy is so good. If you like cabbage, then you would most definitely enjoy bok choy. Don't they rhyme? Enjoy bok choy. Okay, I'm going to add my carrots. Carrots give you that sweet crunch, that sweet, that bite that you just need. Sometimes I also put cheese in my ramen too, you guys. Yes. Y'all know back in the day before you even knew how to cook ramen, you get them instant noodles of noodles. You put some what? Cheese and some what? Hot sauce. That's right. I got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. Okay, so I'm going to add my scallions up top like so. And then I'm going to lay that, woo, I'm going to lay that pepper, that jalapeno pepper, right on top as well. And there you have it. The cream sauce ramen. There you go. Wipe my hands off. Or wipe my hands off. I would like to thank everybody that's been supporting me once again for Creed's Kitchen. Again, this is the season finale. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Hold on, hold on. Let's toast it up real quick. Let's toast this thing up real quick. Y'all know I don't drink, so I got the Welter Sparkly. Yes. Let's toast it on up really quick, honey. Okay, so what we're gonna toast to, hmm, let's see. I wanna toast to um, more, more, more abundance in your life. I wanna toast to um, a better year, a more positive end of year or rest of the year, and a most definitely a profitable next year, okay? So I see you in 2021. I love you guys. Peace.